parking ban backlash. Customers and business owners in Chicago's South Loop say new parking restrictions around Wintrust Arena are costing them money. The arena was built with the hope it would attract business to that area. Eyewitness News reporter Evelyn Holmes live with details. Evelyn? Well, Rob, most people think that's exactly what the Wind Trust Arena will do is bring more business and more traffic to the neighborhood. And they say most of the time they don't have any problem with the fact that the arena is actually here. What they have problems with are the restrictive, what they call restrictive parking, new restrictive parking ban uh, restrictions in the area that they say cause problems. They say that makes it hard to live in the neighborhood and the businesses here say it makes it hard simply to do business. Raquel Fields, the owner of 14 Parish Restaurant, is concerned after her customers got $60 parking tickets because they didn't know they needed a parking pass when the event parking restrictions are in place in the South Loop, all meant to accommodate concerts and sporting events at the Wind Trust Arena in the downtown neighborhood. We had an event, uh, a dinner a couple weeks ago or a week ago, and every one of our customers got a ticket. It turns out neighborhood businesses can get the parking passes for their customers and patrons from the alderman's office, but are responsible for keeping up with them. Fields is now afraid her eatery located near 23rd in Michigan will suffer. I don't want to be associated with, I don't want to go down there because we get tickets down there. Signs warning of the change went up in mid-October and enforcement began last month when DePaul's Blue Demons played Notre Dame's Fighting Irish in their first home game at the arena. New restrictions expand those already in place since 2010. They extend from Roosevelt to Cermak Roads and from the lake to Clark Street during Bears games. The boundary on the south is now I-55. In a statement, Alderman Pat Dowell, the third ward, where the parking ban is in place, says the purpose of the event parking restrictions is to ensure the maximum amount of parking in the area for residents and businesses. Without parking restrictions, event attendees at concerts and games and convention events would flood the area and take up all the parking for residents and businesses. Despite the intent, some neighborhood groups are concerned about how the restrictions will impact the area. The question is, there has to be another solution to, that people can visit our businesses even on the weekends when uh, events are happening. Built at a cost of $164 million, the Wind Trust Arena is operated by the Metropolitan Pier and Exposition Authority. DePaul's basketball teams play there, and it's also home to the WNBA's Chicago Sky, as well as an event center for McCormick Place. And while a spokesperson for one of the city departments says it's reviewing the restrictions, Raquel Fields hopes changes come before it's too late. We want to be the new space that people want to come to for entertainment, dining, and a good time. Well, neighborhood groups along with the city and some of those businesses say they are still assessing, hoping to make necessary changes to make the situation great for everyone. Reporting live from Chicago South Loop neighborhood, Evelyn Holmes, ABC7 Eyewitness News.